y'all coming inside? We gotta get this video started. Let's get it cracking, let's get it popping. Let's go. What's good everybody? Today, as y'all can tell by the title, we are installing brand new goodies for my Nissan GTR. Y'all weren't able to come with us yesterday, but we had an interesting road trip to LA with some of the homies. I wish I could have taken y'all, but I feel like it would have been a little bit too much, so my bad on that. You guys didn't miss too much, but I did pick myself up a very nice carbon fiber duckbill trunk. Shout out to the homie Mike, aka Smurfin WRX. You guys probably already know who he is, but if you guys don't know, I'll link his channel down below. He makes some amazing content. He sold me this trunk for a crazy steal, so it was like a no-brainer. I had to pick it up. Now, this trunk isn't perfect, and like I said, I got it for a major steal, so I was able to just put that to the side, but I do want to show you guys some of the flaws. So, unfortunately, during transport, the carbon fiber did chip in this corner piece right here. That's one of the main reasons why Mike wanted to let it go for a steal. This was completely out of his control. He ordered the trunk and it just came like this and he ended up going a different route. Here's the missing piece to the puzzle. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about it. Basically, I purchased this trunk just to go with a more low key look for the GTR. And again, it was an amazing price and I wasn't gonna pass that up. So I was like, yo, forget about that little chip. We'll get to it when we get to it. But it's nothing major in my opinion. Yeah, it's only me here today. So I'm gonna try to install this trunk myself. I've been watching a lot of videos. It seems doable. So let's get it started. Lighting in this garage isn't the best, but I'm gonna try to work with what we got right here. So here's the last look of the wing on the GTR. So it has the Swan Nex, full carbon fiber wing. This thing is crazy, but the thing is, is this adds so much more attention to the car. Yes, the car already brings a lot of attention itself, but this huge wing right here, sometimes I'm a bit paranoid of it getting stolen. So I think with a duck bill, it'll look a lot more clean and simple, but I am gonna keep this in case I wanna swap it out a little bit later. First thing that we gotta do is remove this trunk. Again, I'm one person, so we're gonna see how this goes. Just in case you plan on doing an install like this on your own, you gotta take some precautions, all right? Mine's a little bit different because of the wing that I already have on this car. SP Engineering actually use this plate right here. It's like a reinforcement plate. So the normal stock GTRs, they'll come with more of like a felt backing and you just pop that out with the caps that come on it right here, the little clips. So mine doesn't have that. So I pretty much don't need to remove this because again, the wing is mounted directly to this reinforcement right here. So no need to take that off. I will need to take this off. I'm gonna see some bolts up in here. I'll get a little bit more detailed with that later. We also need to remove this little piece right there. There's a wiring harness that is threaded throughout this trunk and it ends up in this area. So that's not too bad. And then these bolts right here, the stock GTR bolts, they strip pretty easily. So make sure you figure out how to get those out without stripping them. If you guys do, hopefully you know how to take the strip bolts out. But again, shout out to SP Engineering. They went ahead and swapped these out right here. So these are good to go. First things first, I'm gonna be using a 10 mil to remove the bolts on this piece right here. From here, we have a little wiring harness action. This should just pop out and squeeze the clips. Nothing crazy, just like that. And then from here, we got to snake out this wiring harness, which is connected to this bottom portion right here. Ooh, just like that, trunk is off. 
Took a little bit of time to get the wiring harness out. I think I might have some trouble putting that back, but we'll get to that when we get to it. This thing is pretty heavy, man. I can't wait to put that lighter trunk on here. If you guys ever end up doing this, put towels on your rear windshield, prevent any cracking, scratching, and over here on the body as well. So while I was putting the stock trunk into my place, I came up with a master plan. So the main issue was that it was really hard feeding through this area right here just because I can't really put my fingers in anywhere. So things were getting caught inside. I had some extra shoelaces sitting on the counter and I was like, yo, I'm gonna tie this to the end, pull the shoelace through, and that's how we're gonna get it through. See that? So that's a little plan that I came up with. Um, this is easy just cause the port is so big. So it just goes right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I don't have this cover right here, so I'm not really too worried about that. I installed the latch, double check, make sure that the wiring harness wasn't damaged in any way when I was pulling this out because it was kind of getting a little bit sketch. But other than that, just got to bolt everything back up. Pretty simple other than the wiring harness. That was a little confusing for me, but yeah, that's basically it. And then I got to put that little latch that was right there, that little leather flap, even though I'll probably never use it. But that's pretty much it for the install. But I'm gonna do a time lapse and we'll see how this thing looks. Ah, oh, so much lighter. Wow. This is so light. I'm gonna set it up here for a little bit. Just like that. All right, let's see if this plan works. It should. It's not that complicated. Almost there, buddy. Boom, just like that. these down too tight just because I want to leave a little wiggle room for some play in case we need to fix the fitment on this or if the bolt lines aren't matching up but everything looks good right now um, I could go ahead and plug this in and just make sure that everything works okay so this is all plugged up and then when I hit the latch button this should unlatch all right, wow, that actually sounds really hollow with this. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I work on the car, the adrenaline is pumping. Like I was getting a little sweaty earlier. I'm kind of calming down from my like little adrenaline rush, but yeah, the trunk is finally on here. There's a couple things that I need to kind of work on a little bit. I just gotta get a little zip tie and hide this a little bit better, but it's a really rugged look, but nobody's gonna be looking down there. We got this. Might be a little bit slanted. I can't really tell, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this for the first time. We're gonna close it nice and slow, but I'm excited. Let's get rid of the towels, just in case. All right, right here, just in case. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Please, 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 please. going to end today's video if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the like button and let me know what you guys like about the trunk do you like the duck bill or do you like the big wing drop a comment down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out peace